All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, this uh, lesson is going to be featured in this article done by businessinsider.com. And uh, uh, the title of the headline says, More than 800 stores are closing across the U.S. in 2023. Here's the full list, okay? And what we're seeing is prophecy coming to pass, man. It's good to say... Uh, when you shall see these things come to pass, also measure out the time diligently, right? Matter of fact, let's go get that one. Okay. And that's what we say in the curve, man. Prophecy is, is speaking. And there's nothing that uh, Esau is going to be able to do to put it off. No. He is going to have to go with it. And that's why eventually this devil's gonna come down with great wrath. Okay. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. <clears throat> he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in it. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which you made. Yeah, in various ways, the Lord is visiting the world which you made. All right? Through the, the pestilence, through the plagues, through the earthquakes, through the uproars of the people in the world. All right? Through the calamity that Yahweh Bashar Shah is bringing upon Esau Edom. All right? So much so that their financial markets are being compromised. All right? I see the story today. Well, the Dow dropped 700 points yesterday, man. Okay? Well, that's the Lord. He's, he's breaking down Esau's kingdom piece by piece. It's not going to be a, a, what is it, a, a retirement plan. A, a, what is the word or uh, uh, the phrase? You're not going to uh, go off in the sunset on an easy ride. No, man. There's going to be a hard, hard transition. Okay? And you're going to be... Uh, hit with sore strokes, okay? But the scriptures say that uh, that when thou seest, right, part of the signs pass, and that's what we're viewing. Part of the signs that, that the Lord said to look for, all right, he's going to bring the calamity of Esau upon him, okay? Now, again, the headline, more than 800 stores are closing across the U.S. in 2023. Here's the full list. All right, let's see. More than a dozen major retailers are expected to close. It says at least 800 U.S. stores in 2023. Macy's, Walmart, and Big Lots, Big Lots are among the chains shutting down stores. It says Bed Bath & Beyond is planning to close 416 locations the most of any retailers on the list. And, you know, that Bed Bath & Beyond catered to these women, man. All right? It says, it's not quite the retail apocalypse of prior years. And let's see, that lets you know that the Lord is hitting this place with, 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 with that uh, sore stroke, man. All right? You know, those body blows. It says, it's not quite the retail apocalypse of four or prior years, right? But it's a shakeup, nevertheless. See that the Lord is shaking things up. Okay, it says the an insider tally of announcements by major retailers in 23, 2023 finds at least at least see that eight hundred and three stores set to close during a year excuse me, during the year across the U.S. It says, Rationals, 
uh, are very, some companies are navigating bankruptcy proceedings. Be bankrupt, man. So you're not even prospering anymore. While others say they're aiming to cut costs. Why are they aiming to cut costs? Because if they don't, they're going to be in bankruptcy. You see, it says leading the list in housewares giants, Bed Bath & Beyond, which once owned more than, more than 1,500 stores across three brands, but now is aiming to end the year with just 480 locations across two brands. See that? What else we got here? It says, see the full list, Bed Bath & Beyond, Tuesday Morning, Gap, Banana Republic, uh, Party City. Yeah, your, your fucking Murph is gone. Ain't no more party. <laughs> Shit. It says, 12 locations are currently up for auction, while another 10 will close in February. Yeah, this month. As the company navigates bankruptcy, see? Walmart, seven stores. That's your staple. Your big box stores, right? Big lots, seven stores, and that's the spirit. Both of them says seven, right? See? Seven in the scriptures mean what? Completion. Right? Macy's, four stores. The Real Real, six stores. Right, J.C. Penny two stores, and they've been closing locations like, like crazy, right? Amazon unspecified number of stores, right? Let's see what else we got here. Now that's pretty much it. That's, that 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 speaks to the point of the Lord bringing this place down. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter forty nine and verse seven. And it says what? Concerning Edom. All right. Who was Edom? Edom is the so-called white man. All right. Esau, the progenitor of the so-called white race, man. Okay. It says, thus said the Lord of hosts. Is wisdom no more in teaming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Yeah, the Lord is posing the question. Yeah, the, 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 the wisdom is vanished. They're, they're not uh, able to make those sound decisions as they were before okay it says flee ye turn back dwell deep o inhabitants of the dan for i will bring the calamity of esau upon him the time that i will visit him again the lord is visiting the world which you made all right and it says he's going to bring the calamity of esau upon him let's get this word calamity if we can simple google definition <clears throat> calamity it says an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress a disaster yeah all those stores closing is a disaster man okay and it's going to eventually flourish into everything here being shut down all right let's go back so let's read the precept again. It says, Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. And obviously, the Lord is visiting this place in various ways. The Lord is hitting this place with different body blows, you know, roundhouse kicks, <laughs> you know, uppercuts. You know, the Lord is beating this place down, man. All right, the Lord is beating down our foes in front of our in front of our face. All right, what is uh, uh, Ecclesiastes twenty five? Let's go get that because we're seeing the fall of our enemy. Okay, <clears throat> lead us. It's a rock twenty five and seven. This is Sarah or Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. 
a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. See? And that's what we're seeing, the fall of our enemy in all sectors, man. The economy, the agriculture, all right, you know, the the even in the, the moral values that they they said they once held, but it was all a, a facade, man. All right, where they where they said they uh you know swore on the Bible, you know that this is a God fearing country, but but all that was a lie, man. Okay, so that moral fiber is being revealed that they're they're nothing but some some damn freaks, man. You know, damn uh pedophiles and 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 and, and all around just got damn bad people, man. So those things are being revealed, and guess what we're seeing. And we're having joy at the fall of our enemy. Okay? This is Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? But I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau. He had these wicked texts and say, see, he hated Esau. But if you continue to read, matter of fact, and laid his his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. And that was accomplished before. Guess what is being accomplished again? It says, whereas Edom saith, we are in poverty, but we will return and build and and build the desolate places, then that's what they have done. All right? They have built the desolate places. The Lord put a spirit on them to, to, to come back and gave them all this technology, all right, to build up their kingdom to the point where the Lord is just going to uh, come back in a magnificent fashion and destroy this place. It says, they shall build, <laughs> but I will throw down, see that? And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people. See, you whack attack of Christians. It ain't just Esau. It's the people. All the people descended from Esau, Edom. All right, you Edomites. The Lord has, uh, matter of fact, let me continue to read. It says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. Yeah, righteous anger, man. Okay. The Lord is, uh, excuse me, righteous hate. Okay, the Lord, Lord is 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 not gonna at all quit the wicked. All right, you're gonna receive those things which you have done in the planet Earth, man. All right, <laughs> you got to get all that blood back. Okay, and and that's what we're seeing the 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 beginning stages, the telltale signs of this kingdom being destroyed, man. The Lord is throwing this place down. All right, back in Jeremiah. Chapter 51 and verse 6. Flee ye out of the midst of Babylon. How are we to flee out of the midst of Babylon? By the way of our mind. All right. It says, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. See that? He will render unto her a recompense. See? The Lord is going to render unto who? Babylon the great. All right, ruled by Esau and the so-called white man, the Lord is going to pay you back. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad and the nations have drunk of the philosophies, the ways, the doctrine of Esau Edom. All right, and they're saying that it was all bullshit, man. All right, so much so you got... Uh, the BRICS nations, all right, uh, trying to devise a way to trade in anything other than the dollar, okay? Well, that's the nations being mad. They're, they're, they're no longer following the ways of this damn devil, all right? Uh, cow telling to a uh, uh, cow, uh, what is the word, bowing down, you know, to, to, their, uh, to their might, man, all right? It was once a time where, where the United States, were able to put, um, you know, heavy sanctions on people, which they still do now, but the effect is is not as strong as it was in the past. All 
All right. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. Yeah, if so be. And the Lord is being sufficient. So, uh, what is the word? Uh, sufficient. All right. Or well, he's uh, making a joke, man. If so be, she may be healed. Wait, but that's an example. Over 800 stores this year is closing. And it says not quite the, the re retail apocalypse uh, of years past. Well, guess what, man? Those things are increasing. All right. The reason why it's not a, a, a retail apocalypse of, of years past, because it ain't that many stores to get closed again. <laughs> they closed out a whole abundance of them, man. All right. These certain uh, strip malls, you know, all these things are, are signs of this kingdom falling. All right. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone to his into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, this damn devil has has uh, just about uh, filled up their measure. All right. And, and the Lord is, 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 is slowly judging this place. The Lord is not going to hit this place with with uh, all of a sudden uh, a blow and then they out of power. Now the Lord is going to save her bringing this damn devil down, man. Okay? This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 4, and verse 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. You know, the evil is sown. But the destruction, it hasn't been made manifest all the way into its perfection. No, it's growing though. And we see that by way of the what? The prophecy. It says, is if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, where is that? America, Babylon the Great. Okay. It says, then can it not come that it's sown with good, which is what the kingdom of heaven. So we seeing the, the signs of this place going down. It's a, a necessary evil as is, uh, as it were, you know, it, it must happen. These things must play out. All right. And our Lord, Yahusha said, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. It's not going to be way hey, with all these stores closing. What do you think is going to do to the job market, man? Scripture tell us it's not going to be uh, any work for Egypt that branch or rush or tell may do. So from the top execs all the way down into the to the guy taking out the trash, there ain't going to be no fucking work in this place, man. OK. This is the book of Baruch. Chapter four. And verse 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction. See that? <laughs> and shall tread upon his neck. See, it's, 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 it's coming. All right. We see it manifesting. Okay. And that's why we're being comforted. Because these things are now coming to pass. It says, my delicate ones have gone through rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of, be of good comfort, O oh my children. Cry unto the Most High, Yahweh by Shabbat For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Yeah, it was the Lord that put us in you damn devil's hands, man. All right, and as the Lord is going to take us out your hand, okay? It says, as it were your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. For he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy and salvation. See that? Let me see something. Real quick. I want to get some. Yeah, let's continue to read. It says, 
Let me blow it up again. So like it says, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. That's beautiful. We are being comforted through the prophecies, man. All right? That's how we are being comforted through the scriptures. We see the things playing out on the planet Earth. We see that this man's kingdom is, is coming to an end, so we're comforted, right? It says, miserable are, are they that afflicted thee that rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. See that? And that's, that's happening in a process, man. And it's coming into its perfection. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming to you with another.